already beat me to it. I think y'all know what's already coming up. It is tomorrow's teaching. And this is probably something that a lot of y'all can relate to. This is something that a lot of y'all can relate to. It's kid watches, kid can't stop watching Brain Riot. You won't believe it. That's half of y'all. If you have a TikTok account, that's literally you. Coming up on tomorrow's teachings. I mean, everyone watches it. It's no funky in here. Wait. That boy got a fresh little cut, though. Morning, kiddo. Dad, what are you doing in here? Did you forget? It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Anthony. What is that sound? Just, uh, just need a minute. I, I hear it too. Where's my favorite grandson? Grandpa. Why didn't he just close the laptop? Happy birthday. What is that sound? I don't know, but it sounds like it's coming from under your covers, Anthony. Uh, no. They got no respect for it, nigga. They got no respect. They got no respect. They are about to take his cover off on his birthday, knowing that he's up to something, bro. Just leave the room and let the nigga get himself situated first. What are y'all taking cup? All right, bro. They got no respect. Oh, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. I know you're growing up and I get it. But watching that stuff can be really harmful. Okay. It's not just about what you see, it's about how it affects you, your views, your relationship. It can be really damaging for your development, you know? Getting a lecture on your birthday okay. probably just, annoying as fuck. I mean, everyone watches it. I want you to have real connections. With real girls, not connections coming from a computer screen. It's important to understand that what you watch online can shape the way you see yourself and others. And I want you to be careful and think about the person you want to be. Okay. It's okay. Just want to make sure you're okay. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah, I know. I said bring your minor ass over here. Who are you talking to, Asher? Nah, that's actually insane, bro. Thanks, Dad. Bet your pal. Wait, Dad. Yeah. So there's actually something I want to talk to you about. What is it, Chad? So there's this girl at school. And you like her? Yeah, I've had a, had a crush on her for like three years. I mean, we talk Damn. About, but you don't know how to ask her out. Three years? Yeah. Get your grown ass, ass on. Her. You should ask her out for Halloween and you guys can go together. Yeah, but what if she says no? She says no? She says no, who cares? You should ask her to Halloween and you guys go together. Go where? Trick? Are they going trick or treating? This grown ass nigga go knock on the door and say trick or treat, I'm shooting his ass. Everything I love, I'm putting a bullet right through his chest on everything I love. Just talk to her, Anthony. Doesn't hurt. All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey. Anthony, hey. Haven't seen you all day. I know. What's up, Liz? She hey. pulled up with cat ears? Look, he might go to Zach's place tonight. He's just got a ton of galaxy gas. Really? He's got a ton? What the fuck? He's got a ton of galaxy gas? Is that what she said? Really? <laughs> I don't eat. Look, he might go to Zach's place tonight. He's just got a ton of galaxy gas. Really? <laughs> I don't eat. Generation is cut. I wanted to go trick or treating. We're sophomores, Izzy. So. Hey, Izzy, I'll go trick or treating with you. Sophomores in high school going trick or treating. All right. Really? You down? 
Yeah. I was actually going to ask you when I walked over to you. My neighborhood's really good. It's got big houses and big candy bars, so. Liz, you in? I guess. <laughs> Yay. Can we just come over now? Yeah, let's go. Come on. I've never been to your house before, Anthony. It's nice. Oh, thanks. Anthony, not bagging. A nigga like me, especially me as a sophomore in high school, I would have for sure took them straight to my room and I would have been like, hey, hey. I don't know what I would have said there. I low-key get scared of women when I was a kid. But I would have had the courage to bring this to my room, but I wouldn't have had the courage to move any step forward if we're being honest with you. I don't want even want to lie to y'all like that. I'm, I was not that type of nigga. I got scared once a girl actually showed me she liked me. I'm not going to lie to you. Where's your family? Uh, I work. So we got like four hours till we go trick or treating. Let's watch a movie. Let's play spin the bottle. Spin the bottle with three people. Nigga, she on that. She's on that. She's actually on that. Like, and this, nigga, I would have heard spin the bottle. Maybe as a sophomore, I probably would have been a little more cur courageous, but most likely I wouldn't have said much. I would have just grabbed the bottle. Are you sure you want to kiss him? <laughs> huh? I wouldn't kiss him if I were you. Why not? On oh, everything I love. On oh, everything I love. On oh, everything I love. I would have killed my brother. At that moment, my brother would have been dead. On oh, everything I love, my brother would have been dead. That's the cock block. Bro, that is the cock block of the century, bro. Like, actually, bro, that's like LeBron James in game six type of cock block right there, bro. That's like, he brought, you go, he brought two, y'all was just making fun of him for watching Brain Right. Then he brought two hoes over the next day. The next day he said, all right, bet, brought two girls over to the crib, home alone. And you go come and cock block like that? My little brother bring two girls to the crib, nigga, I'm leaving. On everything I love, I'm leaving. And I'm sending him a text as soon as one of the parents pop up. He's a, he's nigga, bro. You get mad. You try to hate on him for watching Brain. You try to hate on him, bro. He's a hater. He mad that his brother can do both. Watch Brain Rod and balance the hoes, but he don't want it. All right, bro. He's a gooner. He goons all day to shibbity toilet. Look. No! I'm killing my brother. Or oh, everything I'm killing that nigga. You brought, this nigga put this shit in 4K on a flat screen TV of him going into Skibbity Toilet? I never thought I would actually use that sentence in my life now. Like, I'm, like, that's insane, actually. I, you gotta kill him. You actually gotta kill him. No, on, like, dead ass. the only way you get away with, like, the only way, you gotta kill your brother. Like, oh, everything I love, you gotta kill him. Like, I actually would, I probably would have murdered him. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, he would not, he would not have to sleep safe. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm actually so dead ass I would have killed my brother. I'm, like, so serious. I'm not joking anymore. I'm so serious. I would have killed that nigga. Ew. That's gross. Oh, my God. See? I wouldn't kiss those lips if I were you. Those are the lips of a certified goon king. <laughs> Liz, let's get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Izzy. <laughs> Izzy. <laughs> please, Liz. Please, 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 please don't. He did him so dirty. Oh. You put a camera in my room? That was hilarious. Why the... Why would you do that, Gavin? I liked her. Dad told you to stop watching Skibbity Toilet. So we put a camera in the room to see if you did, and well, you didn't. The whole family has to die. I'm not gonna lie. The whole family has to die. I'm killing. I'm killing them one by one. On everything I love, Grandpa getting shot just because. I'm. I'm. That's the whole family of weird ass niggas, bro. I'm killing them niggas on everything I love. This actually the. This is like the episode that's actually pissing me off because how badly I want to kill these niggas. Like I've never seen. Like you know how in the story you see a character that you just hate, bro. I've never hated, bro. It's this only been five minutes. I already hate this nigga, bro. Like, that's the cock block of the century, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Treat this as a lesson. You can thank me later. Thank you? Man, I had a crush on Izzy for three years, and the one time I bring her over, you ruin it. Look, me and Dad put a camera in your room because we care about you, Anthony. 
That don't mean put the shit on the TV, bro. What the fuck? I'm about to I kill this nigga, bro. I actually want, bro, please. I want the most insane. I want this nigga to have the most insane punishment, bro. Oh, everything I love. This nigga has the most insane punishment, bro. The most insane karma. I promise you I'm a cheer. You need to stop watching this. I'll be in my room getting ready for part if you need me. Anthony took the biggest L with Izzy. No cap. The girl was no a total cap. 10. And he'd been eyeing his chance for weeks. And he knew it. So... In a last that a rhino effort, pill? he turned to the legendary Riz pill. Now, instead of a date with Izzy, he's got to give his little bro a crash course on what not to do. Let's go! Get him! Yeah, get him! Anthony and Jake's bond went from bros to lovers. Let's go! Real talk. They ditched their old lives Let's go! became gay, killed their parents for their fortune, and ended up Whoa. in jail. Whoa! Before long, the media was all over them, calling them the brothers with too much riz. Now they were legends, living wild and vibing on a whole different level. We just dropped a brand new Star Wars Times Tomorrow's Teachings video. What the fuck was that? What? What? What was that long ass monologue at the end? The brother did deserve that though. But what's up with? Tomorrow's teachers drop at seven minute videos, bro. The videos are getting s shorter and shorter. I see a black man aiming his gun. <laughs> 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 